that? You're not allowed to touch me. Has been a really long time since I've been here. A lot of new things to see. Well, I haven't even been inside yet, but what is up with this cross here? Did they put that there to keep the curses from coming out of here? Or maybe to keep you from getting cursed when you go inside of there? I don't know. Let's find out. We are here 100% alone. There's my car. It took me a while to find this place. I got kind of lost. Now, last time I came here, I promised myself that I would bring a carbon monoxide detector and I did bring one. Here it is right here. What sucks is I gotta kinda hold it. So, yeah. I have been wanting to hang out on this road because people have spotted, hmm, I can't say the name, but we're not really looking for those. There is a slight chance that we may run into some evidence of them in here. However, what has been spotted here are the tommy knockers some say that they're ghosts of old miners some say that they're demons the tommy knocker legend has been around for a very long time they are believed to be the spirits of deceased miners who are there to help their fellow miners but they can also be very mischievous if disrespected ah, 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 what the f was that these little guys have been spotted in mines all over the world for centuries and have been accused of both causing deaths of miners as well as saving them. A miners trapped for two months are brought to freedom in a rescue mission the whole world is watching. Since mining is one of the oldest and most dangerous jobs around, the Tommyknocker legend is most certainly a fear that many of these men have. Unfortunately, many men have been buried alive in mines all over. Therefore, the superstition of these little creatures remain very powerful and very real till this day. When Tommyknockers have been seen, it's been reported that they're usually around two feet tall and they're often seen wearing miners' clothing. If you see or hear one, be respectful because it could be the last thing you ever see. I did come across this right here I'm not sure if maybe one of those Tommy knockers made that I mean could have been just some people I mean who knows could have been Sasquatch oh gosh can't believe we're gonna go in here we're gonna stick to the bigger entrance so oh. Man, my shoes are so dirty from being in the mountains and desert now james and i were in there at one point and it just keeps going and going and going underground it looks like there may have been a collapse perhaps an earthquake from the last time we were here it has been a few years Somebody brought some dolls here and I'm on a mission to find them. It's really quiet in here. There is quite a bit of rocks. I'm hoping that's all there is. Are there any Tommy knockers in here? Let's go that way. I just heard like a sound like a child talking. I don't remember it being this tight. Only there was a collapse in here. I think.
sink. This place was already creepy before, but now that I'm alone, it's a bit different. I know whatever I encounter will be nothing short of terrifying, whether it be something explainable or maybe something even worse. Oh, here they are. Here's the dolls. They've moved. I mean, looks like there's some people that come up here. Probably mess around. Somebody's been drinking. So far, so good. Carbon monoxide has not gone off. That's what's kind of dangerous about these mine shafts. Is carbon monoxide. Oh gosh. I wonder if that cross was for someone who passed away in here because of carbon monoxide. Whew. Sure hope not. Let me see if this thing works because I haven't even tried it out yet. As I was pushing that. Hopefully I didn't wake something up in here. What the heck is this? Uh, okay, not sure why this is in here. I did bring bear spray, just in case. Is there anybody in here? the only two things I'm afraid of in here. Well, maybe three. Getting lost. People. And having a collapse. I got the bears taken care of because ah, I'm scared of bears too, okay? Little Tommy knockers. I'm using a gimbal right now. I just went crazy. Come on. Come on. There's something over there. There's something over there. There's something straight ahead. I don't know what the hell it is. Oh my gosh, what's going on? My gimbal, stop. What's going on? Oh, my gimbal's going crazy. Stop. Stop moving around. Bro, this thing is like possessed. Stay straight. Stay straight. I saw something right over there. I know what I saw. I was certain someone made their way into the cave. Or was it something else? While taking a second look at this footage, I slowed it down and brightened it up. From a distance, you can see a face take form in the darkness. Gosh, I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn this off. I'm gonna turn this off. I saw something. What's happening to my gimbal is like literally freaking out now, going in circles. I am not doing this. It's like after I saw what I saw, it's like possessed now. This is my gimbal right here. I had it fully charged. The battery isn't what the problem is though. It's something that, I don't know, right after I saw what I saw, it started just rotating randomly and you saw that it was in complete working order.
Yeah, last time I was here. Yeah, we heard some noises. Probably witnessed a couple things, but wasn't here by myself. You know, a lot of you give me credit. You're like, Omar, you got, you got a lot of balls going to some of these places alone. And I agree, it takes guts. But uh, I really am scared, okay? I'm just as human as you. I have feelings, I'm scared, especially being alone in the dark. This sucks. Maybe I could take this off. I really hope this place doesn't collapse like a mountain avalanche or something. Okay, it's gonna be a little shaky. Sorry about that. My gimbal is, uh, I, I don't know what's going on and I don't wanna mess around with it right now. Cause I'm just trying to get out of here alive. Bro, it sounds like little, like fairy tale voices in here. Either somebody is following me or there's something sinister in here right now. As I was exploring in the dark, I saw something out of the corner of my eye crawling on the ground. At first glance, I thought it may have been an animal, but then it disappeared pretty quickly. I know y'all heard that. It was like a boonk. That's what the Tommy knockers do. To try to scare you to leave. If you want me to leave, can you do another knock? sure if that noise is so faint that you can't hear it on the camera but I got supersonic hearing I definitely heard something you hear everything in here okay I came from there There's like some wood here holding up part of the earth, which is a little worrisome for me, being that from the last time I was here, it looked like this place has collapsed a little bit. Just to give you an idea, like right there, that does not look good. It's like a, a four by four holding up this really heavy rock. I don't think I want to stand here very long. Ow. Oh, that hurt. Uh, I guess I wasn't looking where I was going. Uh, new rule. Going into caves like this, bring a hard hat or something. Just went and explored in some darker light. They say that ghosts like these strange lights like red, green, blue. Actually, I think it's red, blue, yellow. Yeah, primary colors. If you didn't know, in the law of color, red, blue, and yellow make up 
all the colors. All the, every single color you see is made from those three, and then you mix them. Red and blue make purple, blue and yellow make green, and then from there, from there it's a wrap. Tons of different colors. But I didn't hear any more of that knocking. Okay, of course I spoke too soon. Saw like a can. There were some cans over there. Let's go look. I can't believe I hit my head. Oh, I just hit my head again. Ow. Oh. Ow. It is kind of tight. I hope I don't get a concussion. Do you like my red light? I saw you hiding. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay, I'm a little, a little scared, but it doesn't mean I'm going to hurt you. I just don't know what your intentions are, because you did kind of sneak up on me, and I wasn't expecting it. I don't remember seeing that cane down there, or it could be wrong. That's something physical, or perhaps this. And what I mean by physical is like maybe like an animal or something, or is it maybe this place is falling apart? I mean, it looks different. So, just in the two years, there's a lot more rocks in here. I don't remember ducking that much in some of these, some of these shafts. Oh, it just got really blurry. There we go. Are you up there? Okay, this is around the area that I saw this little creeper like peeking around the corner. I don't think they like the light. You know, I'm gonna turn the light off. Is that better? What do you think of that? <laughs> I think something pulled on my shoelace. Or I don't know, maybe got stuck on a rock or something. That was weird. my carbon monoxide meter it was like right here something picked it up did you grab my carbon monoxide meter oh oh wow, I don't feel good it just got really hot like really hot uh, dude my carbon monoxide meter was right on the ground back there out of nowhere, it started to get really hot in the cave, and I started to get a bit disoriented. I needed fresh air fast, but I didn't want to panic. I was a bit lost trying to find my way out, and when I finally did, it looked like the only way out had collapsed. Okay, I see some daylight. So, oh wow, look. This is all collapsed. Oh wow, it feels like an inferno in here. Bro. Dude, that came out of nowhere. This was like a really cold place when I walked in. I mean, maybe a cool 65 degrees Fahrenheit and it is all about like 105 degrees now in here. Okay, I was thinking about doing like a spare box session. That may have to, that may have to wait. 
It is, it got really hot. Really hot. Oh, wow. That came out of nowhere. All right, don't hit your head. Don't hit your head. Don't hit your head. Uh, okay. Oh, wow. This is where I'm at. Remember we were talking about that earlier? Oh my God, it's so hot. It is hot in the desert, but it feels a lot better out here. It gotta be like a 20 degrees cooler. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. All right. I thought for sure with the amount of noises I was hearing in the silence, that there would be a couple other cars out here. And here, I just wanna show you. Like I said, I'm the only one out here. I am gonna come back one day uh, I don't know if I'm gonna come back alone, but this road behind me, people have witnessed seeing skinwalkers. This is why I call it the Skinwalker Cave, because it neighbors the Skinwalker Road. Not to be confused with Skinwalker Ranch. This is a completely different area in Northern Nevada. All right, fam, if you wanna see more videos of me in this cave, I mean, actually not alone, where I was with Tiffany one time, and I think I was with James and Chelsea another. I'll leave links down below. And before you go there though, smash that like button, okay? Your boy be working hard on these videos and putting my life in danger. I hit my head, I slipped a couple times off camera, I hurt my elbow, uh, yeah, it's a little scratched up. I'm okay though, I'll live. Getting ready to hop on a plane, head back to Florida, start editing these amazing videos. This is probably gonna be the end of my Alone in the Dark series. I may bring it back, but that's gonna be completely up to you and how much love you show this series. Gotta go for now, but before you leave, give me a kiss. Peace. Oh, by the way, make sure to cop some Alone in the Dark merch, limited time only. This one doesn't say Alone in the Dark, it just says Alone. For those of you who like to explore alone, not saying that I condone it, I absolutely don't, but I respect you, because uh, this is hard work. Gotta go for now before you leave, give me a kiss. Peace. Mm -hmm.